I'm pretty sure we knew this four years now. But it's funny that they're saying it again. Facebook partner admits a smartphone microphones listen to people talk to serve better ads. I heard this years ago. At least it was 2021. It's news again, so that's cool. One of Facebook's advertising advertising partners has reportedly admitted listening to spying on people's conversations through smartphones to serve curated ads. I thought this didn't happen. What's going on? <laughs> so silly. Update. Meta has provided the following statement in response to the 404 mini report. Meta doesn't use your phone's microphone for ads, and we've been pub public about this for years. I used to believe it. We are reaching out to SimG to get them to clarify that their program is not based on metadata. More information here. Now, I'm gonna just team foil now. <laughs> Have you ever been talking about something with someone and then picked up your phone and saw whatever it was you were talking about as an advertisement? Yes. Also funny when you see stuff on Twitter because, oh, new docking event. This happened last year. And suddenly I get the same recommendation from the same scene on YouTube. Video? 14 years ago. Mm. Cookies. Cookies are dangerous, <laughs> let me tell you. Sometimes the timing of terrible advertisements on social media platforms, particularly meta operated platforms such as Facebook and Instagram, can be incredibly jarring. Especially if there is only a matter of seconds between the conversation ending about that product and then it suddenly appears in the middle of your field. It's on purpose. <laughs> it has to be on purpose. The consistency of these has begged the question for some time. Do social media companies use the microphone in your smartphone to listen to conversations that are then used to feed Twitter advertisements? If you have a Google machine, yeah. If you have a Chinese phone like I do, yes, the CCP has all of my dank memes. I'm gonna make it. <laughs> and your report from 404 Media that cites documents leaked. This reporter reveals active listening in software that, unsurprisingly, Use a form of artificial intelligence to capture real-time intent data by listening to our conversations. The leaked documents cite a pitch deck from Cox Media Group, CMG, ATV, and Radio Giant that is one of the Facebook's alleged marketing partners. Alleged, that's funny. That's funny how they say that. Pitch deck showcases how CMG uses its active listening software to capture voice data from a smartphone device that can be then paired with behavioral data on the individual to further hone the target advertisements. I don't like it. Big Brother's watching, though. Notably, CMG stated that Amazon, Facebook, and Google are clients of this active listening software. And following the publishing of the reports from 404 Media, Google has removed CMG from its partner program list. From the list, but are they still partners or not? <laughs> Or do they have the young software now? That could be the case too. This removal then caused Meta to begin reviewing CMG's partnership with the platform to see if it has violated any of the of its terms of service. We know what, what you're thinking. Is this even legal? It is legal for phones and devices to listen to you. When you have downloaded or update prompts consumers with a multi-page term of yes agreement somewhere in the in the fine print, either listening is something included. It's an the little Cox blog post from November 2023. Big Brother's watching. Whiskers, my guy. Yeah. We've known this for years, but it's nice to finally have confirmation. Remember Edward Snowden? He physically disconnects all internal mix, mi mics, mix, 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 and cameras from his devices before he starts using them. Yeah. What a shame, this big and small company. What a shame, things to report to the authorities and the law and to the antitrust. Yep. So rough, dude. It's so rough. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this has been demonstrated years ago. Also, that stuff about Facebook knowing when you stop scrolling and they take note of what you're looking at. They want you to be controlled. Obviously. They can sell your stuff, they can control your ideas, they can force behaviors. 
I thought that it happened. 